we will begin this graduation ceremony with the Tamil Thai. The graduation of the college has been called to confer the degrees in various subjects of our college upon the candidates who in the examinations held recently for the purpose have been certified to be worthy of the same. We will now have a Thanksgiving prayer service which will be followed by the principal's welcome address and introduction of the chief guest. Scripture reading, Psalm 136. Thank you, Lord, for all these things that reveal your love. Thank you for the heavens that cover us, for the earth beneath our feet, for the sun in the day and the stars of the night. Thank you, God, for those people who demonstrate your love, for doctors and teachers and mothers and fathers, and painters and musicians, and writers and farmers, and laborers and clerks, for those men and women who accepted your love and dedicated their lives to loving their fellow men. Thank you, Lord, for choosing me to be one of your people, for calling me and equipping me to communicate your love to the world around, around me. Thanks be to God.
reading from the Gitanjali Rabindranath Tagore Thou has made me endless such is thy pleasure this frail vessel thou emptiest again and again and fillest it ever with fresh life this little flute of a reed thou has carried over hills and dales and has breathed through its melodies eternally new at the immortal touch of thy hands my little heart loses its limits in joy and give birth to utterance ineffable thy infinite gifts come to me only on these very small hands of mine age pass and still thou pourest and still there is room to fill Let us bow our heads in prayer. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of a university education. With your grace, we strive to uphold the ideals of this college and be worthy of the knowledge and wisdom we have acquired here. Thank you, Lord, for our dedicated teachers who have inspired and guided us. For all our companions from whom we have learned to live in love and friendship. Thank you for this great institution where we have learned eternal values. Lord, be with us even as we endeavor to live these values with courage and conviction throughout our lives. Amen. Faculty, kindly rise and say this prayer with me. Lord, we commend these graduates to your gracious care. As these young women step out of this college, We pray that they decide with moral conviction, act with steadfast integrity, and know with innate wisdom the responsibility that they carry. Enlighten their minds, that they may always live up to the ideals of their alma mater and make service a way of life. We pray that your blessings be always with them. Lord, let your guiding hand enable them To follow steadfastly the path of truth and duty. the Lord 
Good evening. On this special occasion of the graduation ceremony of postgraduate and graduate undergraduate graduates of Shift One, it is my privilege to welcome Professor Kamakodi Veenathan, Director, Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, to this function as our chief guest. Professor V. Kamakodi. An alumnus of IIT Madras has MS and PhD degrees in computer science and engineering, specializing in the area of computer architecture, information security, and VLSI design. He joined the faculty of IIT Madras in 2001 and has served as associate dean, industrial consultancy, and sponsored research. He took over as director in January 2022. Among his many responsibilities, Dr. Kamakodi heads the Microprocessor Development Program and the Information Security Education and Awareness Program funded by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India. A member of the National Security Advisory Board he was also the chairman of the Artificial Intelligence Task Force constituted by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India. He has over 150 publications in international journals and has guided many research scholars for their PhD and Master of Science programs. He has coordinated and completed nearly 50 projects linked to the industry and government R&D establishments. He serves on the technology committees of the National Stock Exchange and Reserve Bank of India. Dr. Kamakodi is the recipient of the DRDO Academic Excellence Award, Indian Electronics and Semiconductor Association Technovisionary Award, and the Abdul Kalam Technology Innovation National Fellowship among the many others he has received in the course of his career. Thank you, Dr. Kamakodi, for consenting to preside over our graduation function and deliver the graduation day address. Let us welcome Professor Kamakodi to our college with a round of applause. <laughs> Sir, we are honored to have a person of your eminence with us. We look forward to your address. I extend a warm welcome to the members of the governing body and academic council, members of the faculty, administrative staff, students past and current, proud parents, well-wishers and friends of the college. My dear graduates, welcome back to your alma mater. Today, the degree certificates you will receive will testify to your hard work of past years as students of Stella Maris. We delight in your achievements today as you receive the certificate that will establish your position as enlightened citizens, ready to serve community and nation and be the change leaders of tomorrow. You have acquired values, skills and capabilities that will sustain you throughout life. As you continue your journey along the path you have chosen, remember that your education will be your greatest strength. Nothing and nobody can take that away from you. Education will sustain you through your life, its challenges, its opportunities. You are a special group. You have survived the 
survived and overcome the unprecedented pandemic situation which caused lockdowns and subsequent campus closure. But today, you stand strong and empowered at your graduation ceremony. We look forward to your success in creating a new world of equal opportunities, well-being for all, justice and peace in communities and the world. Use all that you have learned for the common good. I wish you every success for your future. This year has been memorable in a very special way. 75 years ago, on 15th August 1947, the first batch of students entered the portals of the newly established College for Women named Stella Marius. Since then, Stella Marians have slowly but surely, over three quarters of a century, claimed their rightful place in society, taken prominent positions in key areas of national and global entities in the fields of education, business, politics, science and technology, and more. So this year is a landmark jubilee year. In the biblical tradition, a jubilee is a sacred time to remember, rem to remember, return, rest, restore, and rejoice. Our jubilee celebrations were in the limelight of our activities during the past months, foregrounding the history of the institution, its growth and development. Special events were held to celebrate its unique educational achievements and the many attainments of several generations of alumni. Tributes were paid to the founding sisters of the Franciscan Missionaries of Mary, all visionaries and architects of a new educational pathway for young women of free India, empowering them to blaze their individual trails towards realization of their selfhood. The 75th Jubilee celebrations got off to a start on Independence Day 2021 with the release of postcards with the pictorial representations of iconic buildings on campus. Among the other events held to commemorate the Jubilee was the Safaris Cognitio talk series by experts from industry, academia, research institutions and corporate organizations held over March through May 2022. The talks covered a range of real-time experiences from the different sectors to which the resource persons belonged. On 6th May 2022, a concelebrated Thanksgiving Mass officiated over by His Grace, Reverend Dr. Antony Sami, Archbishop of Madras Mailapur, was held at the Open Air Theatre. The Jubilee Finale, held on 25th May, was a grand event presided over by the Honourable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Thiru M. K. Stalin. A 75-page promotional version of a coffee table book featuring pictures and texts covering the history of the college was released on the day, with the Chief Minister receiving the first copy. I will now present the highlights of the activities of the various departments and key offices of the college. Two departments celebrated their own jubilees this year. The Department of Mathematics observed their Platinum Jubilee with an international conference in collaboration with the Department of Mathematics IIT Madras, co-sponsored by CSIR UGC over three days in May 2022 in hybrid mode. The Department of Sociology celebrated their Golden Jubilee with an international conference at which Dr. K. Ponmudi, Minister for Higher Education Tamil Nadu, was the chief guest. The Department of Biotechnology organized a seminar on the applications of next generation sequencing in biotechnology. An international conference titled Dynamics of Biotechnology was also organized. The Department of Botany organized a two-day festival of traditional botany, Vera. 
a display of 60 different varieties of herbs and medicinal plants maintained by the Department of Botany in the College Herbal Garden was presented. A departmental publication titled The Flora of Stella Maris, a Field Guide, was released on 15 August 2022. 207 plants spread across 19.5 acres of the campus have been documented in the book. In honor of the 75th Jubilee year, the Department of Chemistry held an online lecture series titled Emerging Landscapes in Chemistry with eminent resource persons from academia, industry and research institutes speaking and interacting with students of the department. The Department of Chemistry also signed an MOU with the International Center for Clean Water, Chennai. The Department of Commerce, Shift 2 held an international conference on realigning business practices for a sustainable future in association with International Skills Development Corporation, Grant Alliance for Management Excellence, and Savior Institute of Management and Entrepreneurship on 21st and 22nd April 2022. The conference was inaugurated by Dr. Palaniwal Tyagarajan, Minister for Finance and Human Resource Management, Government of Tamil Nadu. Under the aegis of the United States India Education Foundation, a Fulbright Specialist Grant Program, the Department of Computer Science was selected to host an U.S. expert in the specialized area of computer science from 1st to 24th July 2022. A hands-on workshop titled Application Development and Innovation Engine was conducted by the Fulbright Nehru Specialist. The Department of English held a Meet the Author session with Ambe, writer, translator and researcher in dialogue with Ms. Mange, writer, academic and translator on 29th April. The Department of History held a series of interactive sessions with alumni who had made a success of their careers. Titled 75 Years, 75 Conversations, the sessions were held both in person and virtually. The Department of Human Resource Management has signed an MOU with Bharat Institute of Higher Education and Research and organized a faculty exchange program and international conference in HR on the topic traversing from linear to circular economy. The Department of Physics held an international seminar on STEM, Innovations for Sustainability for the students of various science departments of the college. The Department of Psychology organized a talk series to commemorate the 75th Jubilee celebrations of Stella Maris College. A total of 15 guest lectures were organized by the department as part of the talk series. As a tribute to the college on its significant milestone, the Department of Social Work organized over 75 programs. Various seminars, workshops, conferences were organized to highlight the rights of women, children, migrants, issues relating to child labor, youth and adolescents, vulnerable and disadvantaged populations, unorganized workers and war victims from Ukraine. The Departments of Psychology and Social Work and the Research and International Partnership Center, Stella Maris College, organized a one-day research conference titled New Directions, Emerging Trends and Concerns in Child and Adolescent Education in collaboration with the Child and Adolescent Foundation India. The Sustainable Energy Management Program of the Department of Vocational Education held a workshop on women's empowerment, another on biodiesel production, and a talk on entrepreneurship titled A Pitch to Investors. The Food Processing and Quality Control Program held webinars at international, national, and regional levels. In commemoration of 75th anniversary of Stella Maris College, 
the Department of Zoology released its first edition of its e-newsletter, Zooquil, on March 3, 2022. Two new activities have been introduced this year by the department. Summer Bird Count at SMC, to document bird life on campus during the summer, and Moth Week at SMC, to create awareness on and to document moths. The Stella Maris Center for Development of Resources for Inclusion and Vocational Enrichment offers a certificate course in employment, employability skills, Excel, Tally, soft skills, and English communication, and livelihood skills through a beautician course and a tailoring course in collaboration with Bank of New York Mellon and the International Association of Human Values for Stella Maris students, other college and school students, NGOs, and the vulnerable groups of the society. 89 transgender people completed various certificate courses. A job fair, The Journey Begins, was conducted exclusively for LGBTQ people to help them find jobs. Ten transgender people were able to find jobs in various organizations. 150 women auto drivers and cab drivers participated in the International Women's Day celebrations on 8th March 2022. College Day was held on June 6, 2022 with Thiru Dr. D. Karthikeyan IAS, Principal Secretary to Government of Tamil Nadu Higher Education Department as Chief Guest. Looking back at our contribution in the field of higher education in India, it is with a sense of thankfulness that we record the positive and significant impact of our work on diverse sections of society. It is now my pleasant duty to announce the academic progression reports of the various programs. The overall percentage of passes in various undergraduate and postgraduate programs in Shift 1 for the year 2021 are as follows. BA, 94.89%, BSc, 97.86%, BVA, 72.41%, BCOM 98.67, MA 93.51, MSc 100%, MSW 91.89%. Congratulations to all our new graduates. In the words of Pope Francis, true education enables us to love life and opens us to the fullness of life. May you use your education to bring out the best within you, to work for the good of others, for your community and for the nation. May you stay blessed and be enriched with the power of life and with what is good and beautiful. Thank you. God bless you all. Very good evening to all of you, very happy. If you win a battle, uh, if you achieve something, without challenge it is victory. But if you achieve the same thing, with challenges it is history. So all of you have made history because you have cleared your degree in spite of the pandemic. So a very hearty congratulations to all of you. What did COVID teach us? COVID actually taught us, in spite of all the bad things that happened, many of us lost our dear friends. We had three waves, completely locked out, locked in. But in spite of this, COVID did teach us that 
we need to become supremely self-sufficient. What is necessary for our country, we should be in a position to produce that, to deliver that without dependence on others. Many occasions this was highlighted. If you look at the ventilators, if you look at the vaccines, when the Western world invented a vaccine that worked at 8 degrees centigrade, they stopped the development of that because it was sufficient for their country. The same vaccine would not have worked in India. So India actually came out with two vaccines, the Covaxin and the Covishield, which could work at 30 degrees centigrade. And that helped us and that is why we are all here with some amount of confidence after the pandemic. 1947, we got what we may term as the social and political independence. 2047, we must become technologically independent. And the entire onus of that lies in all of you. You are going to be the future of our country. You have to lead. You have to work tirelessly. And that independence is, not, is going to be much tougher than the social and political uh, independence. We have to work with several challenges in front. And an extremely dynamically changing technology, technical world, the social world, we have to face those changes and come out with solutions that will make us a technologically supreme country. With this as a background, I would like to share some thoughts. Coming from a technology background, given an opportunity by God to lead a very illustrious institution of our country, Every project that we take today, whether it is going to be a policy, whether it is going to be a system, whether it's going to be a process or whether it's going to be setting up of a, say an institution or a project, is extremely multidisciplinary. What do you mean by multidisciplinary is that it involves people from different disciplines to come together and work together to solve the problem. Let me take a very common example that will appeal to people from the commerce, science, you know, uh, and the, uh, the literature, the MA students. Can I just take a quick survey? How many people use Tarogya Setu? Can you put your hands up? Good. When you just look at Aroge Setu, there were computer scientists, there were electronic engineers, there were communication engineers, there were epidemiologists, there were virologists, there were lawyers who talked about data, its privacy, security, etc. There were government bureaucrats who dictated the policy by which this application could be delivered. A very simple example of a system that was used to fight COVID involved people from dis different disciplines to come out with a solution which today 19.5 crore users are using today. And it was developed in a record period of 21 days. And uh, it scaled up when the Honorable Prime Minister announced it. There are 25,000 hits per second on that app. It's the largest used app in the world today. How was this possible? It was because of this multidisciplinary education, multidisciplinary effort. So every one of you here has a role to play in the emerging technological, technology world, the digital world that we are looking at. And two important areas I thought I need to share with all of you 
so that it gives you a professionally rewarding career and at the same time it also makes you suitable for the emerging challenges that this world will have, will pose to you. Number one, today we are going into a digital age. I'm sure many of you are purchasing your vegetables using, say, something like dung soap. Going to a vegetable shop and buying a vegetable is actually becoming not a normal practice nowadays. So, what vegetable you purchase is actually known in a digital format to dung so, for example. So, everything that you look at today, starting from vegetable purchase, which you do on a regular basis, you have data and this data is extremely important in every field. Let me mention, let, me, let us take commerce today. Many of the commerce graduates may go into banking. What is the most important problem today the banks would like, love to solve? There's com something called non-performing assets. What are non-performing assets? You give a loan, that loan is not repaid, then it becomes a non-performing asset. When we try to give you a loan, what are the factors that are responsible or what are the factors that we need to consider so that we see that the loan will be returned back? This itself is a major problem which the world has failed to understand and today they are completely relying on the data of previous loans that were given and how, how they were recovered. The, the market situations, the data about the market, the data about certain fields like today agriculture is growing or steel is growing or construction is growing, education is growing. So these are some of the very, very important data points that the bank would like to have. Analyze this data and find out whether when a person comes for a loan, whether we can give him a loan or not. This is one of the most important and real pain the bank face on a day-to-day -day basis and the solution lies in what we call as anal analysis of data or what we call broadly as data science. This data science is not just in commerce. Today when you look at history, there is something called digital humanities. Today many of you would have many things as files like you would have Microsoft Word files, you could have PDF files. Today there is a question, who is remembering for you? Are you remembering things or is Google remembering it for you? Suppose you forget something, you go and type in Google, right? And you search, you get the answer. So who is remembering for you? So this comes to a very interesting concept called digital memory. How do you save this memory for years to come? What are the formats in which today there is a meeting, we take some photograph, it is in some format, say JPEG format. How do we retain this format? Say 50 years or 70 years down the line, your grandchild wants to see your graduation ceremony. Will there be a software which can actually project this photo? These are all very interesting, very important questions. Right? So, so there, there, is, there is a strong uh, history, uh, there is a strong input that needs to come from history, understanding history and projecting what we need to serve, what, what, what we need to remember, what need, we need to save. And there is a big role for historians in this. So when you do a BA history or a MA history, you have a very big role to play in the coming years to come. So data science is a very, very important topic. I, I, I suggest and recommend that you take at least one certificate or even a degree program in data science. The University Grants Commission has come out, in my opinion, a historic order which says that you can do two degrees at the same time. And there are many uh, avenues by which you can study data science. For example, IIT Madras has a 
a web-enabled data science program which you can join. The, 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 the interesting thing is that there is no entrance examination, so you need not write a JE for that. It's only a qualifying examination, a simple one. Plus, there is no age bar. So we today see uh, our age uh, uh, um, range is between 17 and 74. We have a 74-year-old person studying the same course along with a 17-year-old person, 17-year-old uh, kid. Um, we have son and father doing this course together. Son is getting more marks than the father, right? Daughter and mother, son and mother, and interestingly, a daughter-in-law and uh, mother-in-law also, right? So this is type of courses that are there, uh, which you can basically take up uh, and improve your understanding of analyzing data. So data science is very, very important. And you must, there are many such courses, you must aspire to, uh, if you have not done as a part of your curriculum so far, aspire to work on data science. The second important thing that I would love to tell here, I would like to share with all of you, we are looking at sustainable living, right? As uh, when uh, your respected principal uh, was uh, uh, mentioning uh, in our report, I at least saw at least five instances where you had mentioned about sustainability. Sustainability is very, very important. Every act that you do, you must look at whether that is sustainable. If when non-biodegradable plastic was invented and that point of time, if people had looked at sustainability, we would have not landed up with a big mess today that we have landed up because of plastics. There are 17 sustainable development goals prescribed by the United Nations. And I'm sure many of you are sensitized. At least five programs have happened in the last one year, uh, as I see in your annual report. All of you must have, must aspire to get very close to at least two or three of the sustainable development goals. Today, when you look at anything. So, for example, if you are taking a bank job, again, I come back to banking, a commerce student, there is something called ESG, where there is an environment factor, which is part of your environment, society and governance. Or, uh, so, there is an environment factor in which the bank is rated. The growth of the bank is rated based on sustainability today. So, there is a need, and very importantly, gender equality is one of the most important sustainable development goal. So you all have a very big uh, uh, role to play, especially as women in science, women in technology, women in engineering, women in medicine, women in social life, women in politics, women in policy. So there are many, many contributions that you can do to improve the sustainability, to make India lead in these, meeting these sustainable development goals. So I also suggest that you take some certificate program or some other program, and if you are looking at a post-graduation, please look at these aspects so that, uh, you know, you become, you have a professional career that is going to become extremely relevant and that you could contribute in a very, very high, highly technically, uh, you know, rewarding way back to the society. Last but not the least, we have a very, very big commitment back to our nation, right? Um, I'm very happy to note that when I was a student at IIT, we had around 90% of our students used to go abroad. We had a few who stayed back to contribute back to our country. Today, I'm very happy to announce that in the last five years, only 10% of our students have gone abroad. So India has become a land of opportunity. We have so many things that we can do of, for our country, and that will be very, very rewarding. As I see, I just uh, went through this very interesting uh, um, scripture reading. Your s s 
Psalm uh, 136 says, Thank you, Lord, for choosing me to be one of your people, for calling me and equipping me to communicate. If you look at the gross enrollment ratio, number of people who drop after 8th standard is so high that you are almost one among several lakhs who have been given an opportunity to come to this college education. Of course, you should thank Lord for that. And importantly, when the faculty pledge was read, there was one small phrase which is very close to my heart. Make service a way of life. I think that's very, very important. One of the things that we need to do, especially in the science background, today we need scientists. The vaccine came out because of scientists, bio people, biochemists, chemistry. We need a lot of scientists and the scientist has to understand all aspects of science. It's not just, you know, uh, one branch of science. Many things today is a confluence of mathematics, chemistry, physics and biology. There is a necessity for us to look at, have a holistic picture. For that, we need inspiring teachers like many of them you have in your college at the school level. We should also go and inspire the kids to take up science, to take up higher studies, forget science. At least write your 10th, write your 12th, come to a college. Of course, there are so many colleges like Stella Maris who helps the poor and needy. I think this is a message that every one of you should carry. Everybody would have a route in some village don't say you are all from Madras. Madras is a settlement area. So you will have a village to which your father or a grandfather or a great father, great grandfather or great great grandfather would belong to. Go back to that village. Look at rural India. Rural India is sincere. Rural India is honest. Rural India is loving. Rural India is rewarding. And they have more native intelligence than what a city life can give. Go back to this rural India. Look at those kids. Try to inspire them. Try to talk to them. You have Zoom, you have all these facilities, you have mobile phones. And today, more than 100 crore people have access to these mobile phones. Inspire them. Adopt some of them. Right? and see that they at least complete plus two. Then our gross enrollment ratio will reach 50%. Let us, we are now at 26%. Of course, Tamil Nadu is more than 50%. We should be very proud of it. But across the country, we are still less than 26%. We need to rise it up to 50%. Every student should be given an equal opportunity to study. And it is all in your hands. If each one of you adopt 10 kids, I see 500 people, 5,000 kids, small drops make ocean. This is a request we have from IIT Madras. We are trying our best to do this at every level and we want to reach millions. And uh, I also invite Stella Maris College to participate in this effort and we will all work together to make India an educationally rich country and that is the basic principle if you are looking at a technological independence by 2047, that's the most basic thing that we need. With these good thoughts, I wish you all the best and a very, very bright future. And would love to see some of you as students of IIT Madras, either in the data science program or your MSc chemistry or your PhD chemistry. And uh, wishing all the parents here, I see some parents, all congratulations for bringing up the kids to this level and I'm sure India as a country has a great future for you. Thank you very much.
the rank holders and prize winners will be presented by the vice principals and the candidates will be presented by the heads of the departments. The Stella Maris College Gold Medal and Dr. Sister Mary Ann Cash Award and the Penathur Weave Silver Medal for first rank in Branch 10, Bachelor of Visual Arts, Rija Taskeen Senur. The Stella Maris College Silver Medal for second rank in Branch 10, Bachelor of Visual Arts, Suji, Sudiksha HV. The Stella Maris College Gold Medal and the Penathur S. Silver Medal and the Dr. Sister Helen Vincent Cash Award and the Sri R. Narayanan Cash Award for first rank in Branch 4 BA Economics and Dr. Chellam Mitran Cash Award for the highest marks in public finance and Dr. Sister Helen Vincent Cash Award for the highest marks in microeconomics, Saumya S. The Stella Maris College Silver Medal for second rank in Branch 4, BA Economics, and Dr. Chellam Mitran Cash Award for highest marks in public finance, Netra S. The Stella Maris College Gold Medal and the Penathur K Silver Medal for first rank in Branch 12, BA English and first rank in part one French, Ayer Samyukta Ramakrishnan. The Stella Maris College Silver Medal for second rank in branch 12, BA English, Sajina Jennifer Grace Samuel. The Stella Maris Col College Gold Medal and the Penathur G Silver Medal and the Sheila Murthy Cash Award for first rank in Branch 1, BA History and Tourism, Lara Jomi. The Stella Maris College Silver Medal and the Dr. Kamala Arvind Cash Award for second rank in Branch 1, BA History and Tourism, and first rank in Part 1, Hindi, Sarah Farzeen. The Stella Maris College Gold Medal and the Sister Christine Gold Medal and Cash Award and the Tirmadi Vengamal Silver Medal for first rank in Branch 3, BA Sociology and first rank in Part 2, Foundation English, A. Anupama. The Stella Maris College Silver Medal for a second rank in Branch 3, BA Sociology, Akshaya S. The Stella Maris College Gold Medal and the Dr. Sister Helen Vincent Cash Award for first rank in BCom Shift 1, Vaishnavi D. The Stella Maris College Silver Medal for second rank in BCom Shift 1, GGAS. Thank you. List of rank holders and prize winners in the sciences. The Stella Maris College Gold Medal, the Tirmati Kamakoti Amal Silver Medal, the Dr. Meera Paul Cash Award, the A.S. Hariharan and Chitraleka Cash Award for first rank in Branch 6A, B.Sc. Advanced Zoology and Biotechnology, and Dr. Dharmarajan Cash Award for the highest marks in genetics, Padmaja S. The Stella Maris College Silver Medal, the Dr. Hannah John Cash Award, the Kamala Hariharan and Chitraleka Cash Award for second rank in Branch 6A BSc Advanced Zoology and Biotechnology, Maria Amelia Joseph. The Stella Maris College Gold Medal, the Penathur Silver Medal, and the Mr. Seshadri Silver Medal, and Mrs. Jayalakshmi Devi Cash Award for the first rank in Branch 4 BSc Chemistry, and Mrs. Armogalakshmi Silver Medal for the highest mark in inorganic chemistry. Akshaya Kratanya. The Stella Maris College Gold Medal, the Penathur Silver Medal. 
for second rank in branch 4 BSc Chemistry and Karmai Cash Award for the highest mark in Physical Chemistry, Madhumita N. The Stella Maris College Gold Medal and the Penathur S. Silver Medal and Dr. Geeta Srinivasa Rao Cash Award for the first rank in Branch 1 B.Sc. Mathematics Shift 1, Harini S. The Stella Maris College Silver Medal for second rank in Branch 1 B.Sc. Mathematics Shift 1, Catherine Bernard. The Stella Maris College Gold Medal and the Narayana Rao Silver Medal and the Mrs. Shanta Cash Award for First Rank in Branch 3 BSc Physics and Dr. K.H. Rajani Kash Award for the Highest Mark in Nuclear Physics and Ms. A. Suganti Lak Josvin Cash Award for Highest Mark in Electronics, Afi J.M. The Stella Maris College Silver Medal for Second Rank in Branch 3 BSc Physics, Shaniga M. The Stella Maris College Gold Medal and the Penathur S. Silver Medal and the Botany Department Silver Jubilee Cash Award for First Rank in Branch 5, B.Sc. Plant Biology and Plant Biotechnology, Bala Harshini J. The Stella Maris College Silver Medal for Second Rank in Branch 5, B.Sc. Plant Biology and Plant Biotechnology, Kirtana B. List of rank holders and prize winners, postgraduate students. The Stella Maris College Gold Medal and Rukmani Mahadevan Silver Medal and Sri Narayanan Cash Award for the first rank, Branch 3 MA Economics, Kripa Koshi. Stella Maris College Silver Medal for second rank in Branch 3 MA Economics, Swati. Stella Maris College Gold Medal, the Venkat Ramayar Silver Medal, and Dr. Margaret Lawrence Cash Award for first rank in Branch 7 MA English, Aswadi Mohantas. The Stella Maris College Silver Medal for second rank in Branch 7 MA English, Susan Navarian. The Stella Maris College Silver Medal for second rank in Branch 70 MA English, M. N. M. Madanki. The Stella Maris College Gold Medal and Sister Edith Cash Award for first rank in Branch 10 MA History of Fine Arts. Shri Vashini R. The Stella Maris College Silver Medal for Second Rank in Branch 10 TMA History of Fine Arts, Gracia Shannon. The Stella Maris College Gold Medal and Banatu Silver Medal, and through Janaki Raman Cash Award and Dhanam Memorial Cash Award and Pagavati Jayaraman Cash Award and Dr. Geeta Srinivas Rao Cash Award for First Rank Branch 1 Mathematics, Vetri Devi. The Stella Maris College Silver Medal for Second Rank in Branch 1 MSc Mathematics, Monisha Kumari. The Stella Maris College Gold Medal and Sister Thekla Cash Award, the Penathur Silver Medal for First Rank in Master of Social Work, and Dr. Mary John Cash Award for the highest marks in dissertation, Rajeshwari. The Stella Maris College Silver Medal for second rank in Master of Social Work, Sumati. Thank you. Sister Principal, I present you the candidate in person in Doctor of Philosophy in the Department of Chemistry who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degree of the University of Madras, Ramya Simon.
Sister Principal, I present to you the candidate in person in Doctor of Philosophy in the Department of Mathematics who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degree of the University of Madras. Arul Roslet Merlin, yes. Sister Principal, I present you the candidates in person in Master of Arts in Economics who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degree of the University of Madras. Kripa Koshi, first rank. Swati H, second rank. M. Devi Srinidhi. Saubarnika Amala. Sara Samu Marikar. Meera Davis. Ria Payas. R. Kirtana. Millie Roosevelt, Madhuri, Anne Cherian, Abhirami T, Annette J. Nartikul, Ria Rachel Tom, Sudamani, Silsha Mary Agustin, Atirya Shyam Sundar, Anjana Raj, Srinidhi Ramakrishnan, Shilpa Ananta Shivan, Nurain P. Alan Cherry. Thank you. Sister Principal, I present to you the candidates in person in Master of Arts in English who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the University of Madras. Ashwati Mohandas, first rank, Enam Matangi, second rank, Susanna Marian Korea, second rank, Alna Maria Matthews, Sai Raksha Soumya, Serene Anu Philip, Remy Teresa Abraham, Hansi Vergis, Vinita, Anusha, Anjana V. Warrior, Amalu John, Leah Saji, Sneha Maria Matthew, Shivani, Monica Rajgopal, Melina, Jerusha Pravina S, Evelyn Fabiola R, Cheryl, Candy Cathy Thomas, Meryn C. Varghis, M. Niveda, Anne Merlin, Aisha Shireen, Kirtana R., Lynette John, Unimaya S., Renu Pau, Gayatri K., Akila Beni, Shalini S, Joanne Jos, Mabel Veronica F, Pratiba N, Priyadarshini I K, Tino Baby, Harini R, Nancy P, P Bhuvaneshwari, Jyoti Lakshmi K and Dicky Lukri. Sister Principal, I present to you the candidates in person in Master of Arts in History of Fine Arts who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the University of Madras. Sri Varshini R, first rank, Gracia Shannon, second rank, Divya Lakshmi A, Vishwapriya B A, Ajita Lakshmi A, Brinda N C, Sadaf Hamid, Fatima Abba, Abbas Lokanwala. Sister Principal, 
I present to you the candidates in person in Master of Science in Mathematics who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the University of Madras. Vetri Devi M, first rank. Monisha Kumari S, second rank. M. Nelsi Nyana Segari, Lakshmi Priya R. Infant Sherin Rose F, Kavita K. Shinsi Mary Matthew, Hari Priya V. Anu A, Yamani S. Sneha Biju, Badrashri R. Agnala Nikita N, Jas Renita P. Malavika N, Virgin Crystal Da E. Bashisha Rimbai, Bhuneshwari S. Anami KM, Anat Shirley J. Gen C J. Zumaila. Maurya Jose J. Amala Roy. Komal Kumari, Maria Thomas. Amy Shaji, Jacinta Sibi, Nisha Angel J, Catherine Mary A, Monica V, Shagufa Fatima F, Vairam N, Anita K. M.S. Jennifer Mary, Jasmine Matthew. Jasli K.J., Lithia Dikruz. Grishma Hegde, Nithya C.L. Shia Mesbel Perez R., Angel Irene A. Bhavya Rose Raju, Iron Vaishali J. Raja Deepa Darshini D. Thank you. Mr. Principal, I present to you the candidates in person in Master of Social Work who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the University of Madras. Rajeshwari, First rank, Sumati, second. Jayashree, Jane Maria. Udaya Priyanka and Danlakshmi. Natalia Monisha. Afrin Sara and Renaga Devi. Madhubita, Sunanda, Arul Vikasani, Virginia, Punita Rani, Arti, Rosita Benny, Saumia, Jennifer, Fatima Priscilla, Hemalada, Priya, Shirley Janet, Vinaya Mukesh, Lavanya, Mercia, Daisy, Salma John, Sun. Juanaita, Veronica, Michael, Aishwarya, 
Jennifer Maria, Catherine Mercy, Sandhya, Kiran, Christina Mercy. Thank you. Sister Principal, I present to you the candidates in person in Bachelor of Visual Arts from the Department of Fine Arts who have been certified by after examination to be duly, duly qualified to receive the degrees of the University of Madras. Rija Taskeen Senor, first rank. Sudiksha HV, second rank. Aisha Seshadri, Manasa Arun Kumar. Varsha S. and Maria Philip. Purnima S. Varsha V. Neeta B. Shankar Purni R. Rufus Bastina R. Harshita C. Karishma Maria Raphael. Premi Jovita X. Sneha I. Pavitra Hamsini K. Purnima N. Matangi N. R. Tarunya. Ria J. Prerna Bandari M. Ananya S. Ankita Biju Agustin. Dimple M. Manisha P. Alna Joseph. Lippi Vadvan. Rusati Murli. Prabha Manasavi. Suna. Suprina Regina Anand. Michelle Antonia Dominic D. Aisha Nilofar, Chajut Bangsia, Ramya J, Deepika D, Ovia CP, Shweta J M, Dia Maria Thomas, Kinjal Jain, Amna M. Aikya B. Sister Principal, I present to you the candidates in person in Bachelor of Arts in Economics who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degree of the University of Madras. Soumya S. First rank, Netra S. Second rank, Rajeshwari S. Pla Pauline Flora M, Divya and Matthew, Archisha CV, Swati R, Aishwarya Raman, Karnika A, Harshita Satish, Kavya Vishwanath, Harshini, Mary Sibi, Sudipta, Ruala Kirtana, Shubali Ashok, she gets Dr. Geeta Sridharan Cash Award for highest marks in macroeconomics. Shrija Shatish, she gets first mark in part one Sanskrit. Surya Sridhi, Saumya Kirtika, Anita R, Prithivi Rajesh, Angel Priya, Vandana K, Suganti A.S. She gets first rank in part one Tamil. 
Monisha S. Angita Selin Viju, Teresa Soni, R. Ritika, Nisha Y, Sonia K. S., Tess Mary George, Ashwinta Anand, Amita A., Harshita S., Nikita J. S., Harini C. M., Trishika S., V. Aishwarya, R. P. Judith, Indu P., Leah Mary Joseph, Vandana Ramesh, Jennifer Mary, Isha S. Nair, Gauri Nandana, Rufal Shainika, Catherine Jacinta, Pooja V, Crystalline Daphne, Evangeline Inbarasi, Catherine Mabel Aswis, Sophia Sandra, Michelle Risu Sita, Melina Mary, Anita H, Nisha Evangeline A, Deepshika, Shri Devi, Shalini, Grace Magdalene, Evangeline Vinarasi, Priya T, Hardlin Blessy. Josephine Sushma Ji. Sister Principal, I present to you the candidates in person in Bachelor of Arts in English who have been certified by, after examination, to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the University of Madras. Samyukta Ramakrishnan, first rank. Sajina Jennifer Grace Samuel, second rank. Sandra V. Jos. Fatima Yunus Bombewala. Jocelyn Benita. Nivedana Pandian. Shruti Palival. Ovia K. Sandra Victor L. Helen Sajan. Neha. Shania Murray. Anne Mary Joss. Maria Charlotte Rubia. Leah Sibi. Helena Jossi. Maria Priyanka Joseph. Sandra Sajeev De Costa, Erica Ann Fernando, Vardini, Merlin Mary, Benita Teresa B, Monica, Vijay Lakshmi, Sirmalar Shaini, Rita Ellis Chako. Gracelyn Paula De Monte, Donald Matilda, Ashbel Sanesh, Tara Gilbert, Amanda Somi, Shivani T.R., Patricia Sherlin, Srishti Mahesh, Sujita. S. Maria Philip. Praveena Priyadarshini.
Sarah S. B. Uttama S. Rufina Anton Josmia Shayan Rosalia Bassi Patricia Ann Paul Jubilin Mary Princey Oliver Ilavarasi Hina Kausar Janisha Elizabeth Thomas Celeste Deepshi Niflora Mary Ananya V Jacqueline J Tino Infantina A Brittany Selva Rena Evangeline Jensi Yogamitra Shruti Akshara Jessica and Aishwarya Sister Principal, I present to you the candidates in person in Bachelor of Arts in History and Tourism who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the University of Madras. Lara Jomi, first rank. Sarah Farzeen, second rank. Malavika T. Nandini V. Jyotika Ishwaran, Teresa Jackson. Nisha John, Akshaya J.A. Samantha Rebecca Christian, Santana Lakshmi M. S. Roshni, Sri Vidya M. Shivaranjani K. Maria Glory Lauren Daisy V Anusha A Shushmita Hads Monisha A Manimala C Midu Rose Manoj J.K. Joyner Harshita Gobi Shankar Annie Infanta M Anu Maria Roji Anthony Thomas Sahitya K. Jay Bharati J.A. Arokya Satya Mridula Lipika J Sabita R Kirtana Suresh Jangam Sirisha Vinolia Rose Rizla Fatima Samantha Mary Jeremiah Hinduja V Mercy Matilda Sharmila W Maria Akshita Arasu Venmati Donita Teresa Ray Maria Sharon Man Simran Kaur Jennifer A Cassandra Ann Davis Khadija Trifka Jasmine Sharon Salma Arab Meena Lochini Rovina Maria Rodericks Celine Immaculate Banu Priya K Ashwini 
Arul Reshma Josephine Rajashri K. Tina Michelle and Rhea Cherian Kandatil. Thank you. Sister Principal, I present to you the candidates in person in Bachelor of Arts in Sociology who have been certified by, after examination, to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the University of Madras. A. Anupama, first rank, Akshaya S, second rank, Parkavi M. R, Pooja S. Niveta V, Vidya S. Christine Leona Jasmine, Akshaya S. Harshana T, CM Deva Prayaga, D Shreya, Maturuta KR, Shri Vidya G, Anita G, Pushya Ramez, Talita Maria L. Sarah Karishma Paul, Stellofin J. Sharon Teresa B, Janet Jocelyn E. Jerisha Das A, Meera Vijay. Alina Muskan, Singaraveni J. Asha P.V. Ruma Safa A. Annapurni K. Maushni V.K. Vincia Janet M. Celsia A. Deva Hamsa Vardini R. Rasika S. Batra A, Mersha Sahaya George, Kanduri Aditi, Saliha Mariam S, Gunapati Hemila, Priyadarshini A, Tanya Tracy George, Carmelin Teresa Costa, Vinci Annie Clara, Pratushius C, Sharu M. Vikraman, Sharu Priya S. Josephine Sanya Pais, A.G. Maithali. Shweta S. Charmila G. Sally Xavier, Ruth Jacinta. Kanmuri Sinduja, Sarvashri V, Fatima SN, Manvina Mukun, Madanika K, Anisha Mary J, Merlin A, and Shirley. Thank you. Sister Principal, I present to you the candidates in person in Bachelor of Commerce who have been certified by, after examination, to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the University of Madras. Vaishnavi D, first rank, GGAS, second rank, Pooja NM, Avakris PF, Micheline Libya X, Hari Priya S, Christina S, Sabrina T J, Joanita D, 
நிஷா ஏ சலோமி சி தீபிகா ஏ ரியா ஆர்ஜே கிரேஸ் ரோஷ்னி ஜே சுபி கே எஸ் தீப்தி ஹெச் சாருலதா பி மரிய மஸ்லன் ஜே புவனேஸ்வரி வி அர்ச்சனா ஏ கேத்ரின் அமல ராக்கினி யு குமுத பிரியா வி ரேஷ்மா பி ஷாலினி ஏ ஷெரில் அக்ஸீலியா எஸ் ஜெனிஃபர் ஐ ஸ்வேதா ஆர் சந்தியா ஷைனி ஏ கேரலன் ஜே விஷாலி எல் அமிர்தா ஷேரன் ஜே ஆலிஸ் மரியா விஏ ரேச்சல் பிரியங்கா ஏ பெனிட்டா ஷாலி பி ஜெனிஃபர் ஏ ஜெர்சி சில்வியா ஆர் ஆண்ட்ரியா ஜென்சி எல் நிவ்யா மேரி எல் சின்ரெல்லா வர்ஷினி எஸ் ஸ்ருதி மார்டினா எம் வர்ஷிகா டி மோனிஷா ஆர் சிசிலி ஷெரீன் பி ஏஞ்சலின் ஆண்டனெட் போஸ்கோ ஏ கருண்யா ஸ்வாதி அசோக் கிருஷ்ணசுவாமி மலி ஜே அன்பினி அரஸ் ஆக்னஸ் லூயிஸ் பி ரம்யா வி பிரிசில்லா பிரீத்தி டி பிரீத்தி பி ஹாலின் ஜோஷிட்டா எஸ் ஆன்டோ கிறிஸ்டினா எக்ஸ் பிரியங்கா பிஆர்கே ஃபிலோமினா ஐ கேரலன் ஜெனிஃபர் எஸ் அஸ்வினி பி ஆரோக்கியமேரி ரோஷ்னி கே நிவேதா எம் ஷமீனா எம் தர்ஷினி பி சந்தியா எம் மலின் ஏ கீர்த்திகா எம் வித்யா வி ஜாக்லின் மரீனா ஜான் ஜே சஹாய் ஃபிலோமினா ஜே அஸ்வினி டி திவ்யதர்ஷினி பி அக்ஷய பிரியா எஸ் கிரேஸ் ஜெனிஃபர் எல் ரேஷ்மா ஹெச் and ashila thank you sister principal i present to you the candidates in person in bachelor of science in advanced zoology and biotechnology who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the university of madras padmaja s first rank Maria Amelia Joseph second rank Gayatri T Nivedika E she also gets Shirani Pereira cash award for third rank in branch 6A BSc advanced zoology and biotechnology Nishal Venkatachalam Jomi Jos Ramya M Teresa Paul 
अनुजा ए काव्या गोपाल रितु सी आर श्रीदेवी पी एस सौम्या एस निकिता वासु लक्ष्मीप्रिया ए मोनिया वर्गीस फेमिन सी फ्रांसिस दिव्या टी प्रतीक्षा एंटनी ई सगाय शर्ली एन एलिना एब्रहम ए दीप्ति निशा देवप्रिया जे फॉस्टिना रॉबर्ट्स एल जी ए अफजान जुल्फिया जमाल मोहिद्दीन के मृदुल्ला फलक कोचर पी क्लॉडिया पिनेरो हिरणमयी आर अखिला अफ्रा ए अतुल्या पी वर्मा पॉलिन सी आर शामिनी एल अनुशिया वेरोना जे क्रिस्टीना निहारिता सुरेश एनी बेनिशा कैथरिन ए रियाना जेनिफर एस सहाना समंथा राजेश पद्मता वी बेलिंडा वेरोनिका मैनुअल एंड अनायका मोटामारी थैंक यू Sister Principal, I present to you the candidates in person in Bachelor of Science in Chemistry who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the University of Madras. Akshayda Kirtaniya, first rank; Madhumita Yen, second rank; Shravanti M, Kausalya S, Abarna R. Anto Priyanka E, Kavya Jero L, Sri Lakshmi J. She gets Dr. Yashoda Durai Swami's cash award for the highest marks in organic chemistry. Austina Tesnavias J K, Amisha Lillian Sandria A, Divya Roshni S, yes. S yes, Sulfa Fatima. Harini S, yes. Krista Teresa Thomas, Jovita B, Shruti C, Kural Vasugi K M, Jenny Asmita R, Sneha S, yes. Jayanti T. Amrita Vashni Hariharan Yen Kamala Priya Jesslyn Maria Jos Atulya Jones Maria Rona C C Adya Anna Sibi Reshma Valentina Yen Jerusha Maria Renata R Jenita J Jennifer K Donita B Saundarya J Francis Jennifer A Jennifer Gladys N 
సహాయ రోజ్ వినిషియా డి అనేకా బేబీ మరియా సెల్షియా ఆర్ మరియా షాఫ్ని ఎన్ అభీమా సుజో ఎస్ లావణ్య ఎం వైష్ణవిదేవి డిఇ దివ్య జి బి స్టెఫనీ జసిక రెనీ జోవిట అండ్ వినోదిని పి థ్యాంక్ యూ సిస్టర్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ ఐ ప్రెసెంట్ టు యూ ద క్యాండిడేట్స్ ఇన్ పర్సన్ ఇన్ బ్యాచులర్ ఆఫ్ సైన్స్ ఇన్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ హు హ్ బీన్ సర్టిఫైడ్ బై ఆఫ్టర్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ టు బి డ్యూలీ క్వాలిఫైడ్ to receive the degrees of the University of Madras. Harini S. first rank, Catherine Bernard second rank, Grace Sushma V, Madhumita K. Deepika G, Reni Daisy R. Aparna Saju, Shadicha Parveen J. DTV Bhavya Shalini Reema Mary J Shija Berna D Janita J Ramona Teresa Joseph Jelshia Lutz T Celsia A LC Lefia Rodrigo విజయశ్రీ ఆర్ శ్రీ వైశాలి ఎం ఐశ్వర్య టి జోస్టలో రోజరీ జే కీర్తన పి లావణ్య ఎం ఇసబల్ మరియర్ రంజిత్ శాండ్రా బెనాయ్ Shiba E, Swati S. Malini J, Lydia Anna Daniel. Nithya K, Jasmine Sindhya J. Maria Sveta A, Gayatri N. Sonali S.K. Angelin M. Amali Jacintha S.G. Celsia Rakini Malar A. Tina Evangelin Y. Bernie S. Angel Fatima A. Mageshwari M. M. Jayamonisha, P. J. Rubel. Sindhu S. Pratika Joy T. Betha Angeles J. Anto Sweetie A.P. Crescenta Fernando S. Harinipriya P. Sumitra Mary S. Aishwarya M. Prince Lima Rose Kalaiwani R. Susanna Kuryakos Narmada G. Sonali C. Franklin R. Dias Anasasya Rose Noel, Jennifer Priyanka J. Anita T. Krishna Motha P. Aroke Janita L. Sneha J. 
Sophia Dorothy E.F. and Joni E. Elsverin. Thank you. Sister Principal, I present to you the candidates in person in Bachelor of Science in Physics who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the University of Madras. Afi, first rank. Shenika, second rank. Celsia, Nandita, VM. Rufina, A. Ashika, Chiramal. Lydia and C, C, Jennifer A. Marian Kirtana P C, Shilpa Queen A. Neeraja C, Sinduja A, Rose Osuf, Shreya Rose Rajin. Kritika E. Danushya Priya RP. R. Sneha Kavya K. Veronica D. Tina Sharon C. A. Shilpa Mary S. Catherine Cheryl Morais. Rispa A. Shirley S. Savita U. Sangeeta A. Suji P. Alfina Nifi. Vasundra Raj. Janita Priya. Catherine Denisha. Ansi Penshia. Cynthia Philomen, Britta. Immaculate Bernan, Celsia. Divya Rutika. Vinci, Trisa, Pravina M. Rakshana V, Vigneshwari SR. Jayanti G.S. Rosali. Thank you. Sister Principal, I present to you the candidates in person in Bachelor of Science in Plant Biology and Plant Biotechnology who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of the University of Madras. Bala Harshini, first rank. Kirtana B, second rank. Lydia Shushmita MG. Shalini A. Sandhya J. Asha Jerin S. Danushri D. Harini M, Tejshri GK, Swati Saharika Raut, Shri Swarnamangai T, Deepthi S, Sneha Patricia A, Archana D, Arpuda Meghala A. Vanita S. Inasi Erina J. Nibisha D. Benoshia Y. M. Vinisha. Devi P. Elizabeth Annie John. Barbaral Sabina, Saujanya C, Janani A, Selva Abirami, 
Subhalakshmi or Janani J or Gold Resha G Nikshana R Shri Malini PS Janirisha J and Prathana J. Thank you. We shall in thought, word and deed ever endeavor to be scrupulously honest in the discharge of our duties, in our profession, and shall uphold the dignity and integrity of our profession and the honor of our university. We shall uphold and advance social order and the well-being of our fellow members and shall devote all our energy to promote unity, integrity, and of my ability to live up to the values and principles of the profession of social work, to uphold the values of life and dignity of the human person to work towards the humanization of people, giving priority to those who are deprived and disadvantaged and to oppose all conditions and practices in our society that lead to social injustice and dehumanization of people. Thank you. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the principal of Stella Maris College, I admit you to the several degrees for which you have been declared qualified and in token whereof I permit you to wear the academic robes ordained as the insignia of your degrees. I dissolve this graduation ceremony. We shall now sing the college song followed by the national anthem. Kindly rise.